हेलो एवरी वन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रीवियस ईयर के सी ई टी क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑसोलेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द रेशियो ऑफ कैनेटिक एनर्जी टू द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ ए पार्टिकल एग्जीक्यूटिंग एस एच एम एट डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ इट्स एम्पलीट्यूड द डिस्टेंस बींग measured from its equilibrium position is 3 is to 1 4 is to 1 2 is to 1 8 is to 1 this question has appeared in kct 2015 okay here we have the energies kinetic energy and potential energy the kinetic energy expression is half k into bracket a square minus x square potential energy is half k square here taking the ratio of two energies kinetic energy to the potential energy that is half k into bracket a square minus x square divided by half k x square here half k get cancels remaining is a square minus here x is the displacement x is the displacement okay that becomes the half of the amplitude okay that's why a square minus a by 2 whole square that becomes a square by 4 <coughs> divided by again a square by 4 that becomes taking the a square common the value becomes 3 by 4 divided by 1 by 4 4 4 get cancels remaining is 3 by 1 that is 3 is to 1 so the correct answer is option a next second question a particle executing shm has a maximum speed of 0.5 m per second and maximum acceleration of 1 m per second square the angular frequency of oscillation is 2 radian per second 0.5 radian per second 2 pi radian per second 0.5 pi radian per second this question has appeared in kcet 2016 here we have the formulas for velocity and acceleration for velocity is omega into a where omega is the angular frequency capital a is the amplitude Okay, velocity they given here that is 0.5 meter per second. Okay, and also they given the acceleration that is 1 meter per second square. Okay, here acceleration formula is minus omega square a equal to 1. <coughs> here minus sign indicates the direction towards the mean position. Okay, so we are neglecting the sign. taking the only magnitude taking the ratio of velocity and acceleration that becomes omega a by omega square a a get cancels and omega also cancels okay denominator omega 1 omega to the power 1 remains okay that value becomes omega into 0.5 equal to 1 then omega equal to 1 by 0.5 it becomes 2 the correct answer is option a 2 radian per second <clears throat> next third one two simple pendulums a and b are made to oscillate simultaneously and it is found that a completes 20 oscillations in 10 second b completes 10 oscillation in 8 second the ratio of length of a and b are option a 8 by 5 b 64 by 25 option c 5 by 4 option d 25 by 64 here we have the two pendulums a and b okay are made to oscillate simultaneously and it is found that okay each uh, pendulum 
covers certain oscillations in a particular time interval that is <coughs> pendulum A covers 20 oscillations in a 10 second okay and pendulum B covers 10 oscillation in 8 second okay after simplifying we are getting for pendulum A 2 second is the time period and uh, for uh, pendulum B that becomes 5 by 4 here taking the ratio we want the length ratio of two pendulums that is LA by LB equal to 2 square by 5 by 4 whole square here the length is directly proportional to the square of the time period that's why we taken the square of the time period magnitude okay simplifying that finally we will get 64 by 25 so correct option is P 64 by 25. Next one. <coughs> a piston is performing SHM in a vertical direction with a frequency of 0.5 Hz. A block of 10 kg is placed on the piston. The maximum amplitude of the system such that block remains in constant with the piston is 1 meter 0.5 meter 1.5 meter 0.1 meter this question has appeared in KCT 2019 okay. here we have the piston here as shown in diagram and on that piston we place the box of a 10 kg okay. then that uh, after putting the weight the piston get oscillates okay here what they asked means they want a amplitude they want amplitude the maximum amplitude of the system here alpha equal to minus omega square x alpha means here we taken it as a acceleration okay? that value is 10 alpha is 10 okay equal to omega means 2 pi f omega means uh, it is a angular frequency we are equating that to the linear frequency then the value becomes 2 pi f whole square into x means the amplitude that we are going to find out okay then after in interchanging the terms amplitude a equal to 10 divided by 4 pi square f square okay pi means 3.142 squaring that value approximately we will get 10 okay and f means frequency they given here that is 0 0.5 hertz 0 0.5 hertz squaring that we will get 0 0.25 the final answer is 1 meter so correct option is first one 1 meter next question a tray of mass 12 kg is supported by two identical springs when the tray is pressed down slightly and then released it executes shm with a time period of 1.5 second the spring constant of each spring is 50 newton per meter option b 0 105 newton per meter option d infinity this question has appeared in kct 2020 here <coughs> they mentioned two springs both are confined in a tray okay if a, a tray is pressed and released the both spring will oscillate simultaneously here each spring having the spring constant okay that is denoted by symbol k k means spring constant here there are two springs are there okay those are known as identical springs here they want the magnitude of spring constant for that we have to use the formula time paired 2 pi equal to root of m by k where m is the mass of the springs okay 
here k means spring constant okay again 2 pi equal to root of m by k1 plus k2 means the notation of two springs but the uh, here they mentioned two identical springs okay then the value becomes k plus k that is 2k we have the values mass and time period after using that the value become t square 4 pi square m by 2k okay interchanging the terms t square into 2k equal to 4 pi square m then k equal to 4 pi square m by 2 into t square using the given values the final value is 105 newton per meter the correct option is c 105 newton per meter next question a pendulum oscillates simple harmonically if and only if condition a the size of the bob of the pendulum is negligible in comparison with the length of the pendulum next condition b angular amplitude is less than 10 degree here both option a both 1 and 2 are correct option b only one is correct option c both 1 and 2 are incorrect option d only 2 is correct <coughs> this question has appeared in kct 2021 here for getting the oscillations okay we have to apply the force to the bob then we will observe the angular displacement okay here the length of the pendulum is also necessary to observe the displacement okay so here a equal to omega square x we taken the symbol alpha as the acceleration alpha equal to minus omega square theta okay theta means angular displacement okay alpha is directly proportional to theta means angular acceleration is uh, proportional to angular displacement so for this we require both condition 1 and 2 there must be a displacement and uh, the radius of the bob is negligible compared to the length okay so the correct answer is option a both 1 and 2 are correct 